extensors of the thumb. There are three extensors of the thumb. The extensor pollicis longus, the extensor pollicis brevis, and the abductor pollicis longus. The extensor indices tendon, a tendon that is close to the thumb, the index is close to the thumb, is borrowed to restore thumb extension in case of chronic rupture of the extensor pollicis longus tendon. Here are the four tendons involved in extension of the thumb. The three tendons are here to the left, and the extensor indices that we can borrow it to restore thumb extension in case of deficiency of the EPL. The abductor pollicis longus is inserted into the base of the first metacarpal. The extensor pollicis brevis is inserted into the base of the proximal pharynx. The extensor pollicis longus is inserted into the base of the distal pharynx. All are inserted into the extensor or the dorsal part of the thumb. So how do we remember the origin and the insertion of these muscles? We we'll start with the previs. The previs is the shorter one. So it's going to the thumb. So the previs, the shorter, have to originate from the radius and they have to insert into the proximal pharynx of the thumb. That is in contrast to the longus, the extensor pollicis longus, which is longer muscle. So if it is longer and is going to the thumb, it has to come from the anna, and it has to be inserted further away, which is in the distal pharynx, the base of the distal pharynx of the thumb, because it's longer. It goes from the anna to the distal base of the thumb. Now we talk about the abductor pollicis longus, it will come from both, the radius and the anna. So the extensor pollicis previs, the shorter, come from the radius. The extensor pollicis longus, because it's longer, will come from the anna. The abductor pollicis longus come from both and is inserted into the base of the first metacarpal bone. And because the abductor pollicis longus does not carry the name of extensor pollicis, so it's really not inserted into the base of the proximal or the distal pharynx. It is inserted into the metacarpal bone base. This is an example of rupture of the extensor pollicis longus and the indices tendon is the one that is used to replace the extensor pollicis longus. Why the indices? Because it's close to the thumb. We're going to borrow the tendon that's close to the thumb to restore extension of the thumb. Thank you very much. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.